Hi everybody, welcome back to Spruverse, my scale model universe and part two of build the 120th scale travel pod from Star Trek The Motion Picture, a cosmic models kit, uh, all resin, 3D printed and just so much fun uh, because you can really focus on some of the other technical skills uh, rather than cleaning <laughs> cleaning up your kit. You know, so often we we sort of get down to the nitty gritty on building one of these things and uh, we just spend all our time sanding and cleaning and sanding and cleaning and with this particular kit you're not going to have any of those problems. Now it is 3D printed so you are going to have some of those striation lines. You're not going to get it perfect but I can tell you with some really good primer and I'm, I use the Duplo 2-in-1 uh, uh, primer filler uh, it does do a great job of eliminating a lot of those problems. And then on top of it, I'm just using my tip, my usual Tamiya and uh, my uh, Vallejo paints. And uh, I'm sort of just sort of sticking with that. Um, now, uh, I did use my um, go-to insignia white, um, my... Uh, uh, my AS20 to me in the in the rattle can. I did use that. Um, it did get uh, a, 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 it did get some of this, uh, which is you know uh, we talked about this in in the previous episode. The Chroma Air. Uh, it's a urethane paint. You know, it's mostly a, a it's a car grade paint, and so. Get, get it, you know, you can mix it uh, with a reducer and uh, get, get it to go through your spray brush beautifully. It, it really is beautiful. And what, what I'm finding with these things is, you know, pigment matters, you know. And oftentimes, especially in some of the smaller bottles that we're shooting, uh, especially the acrylics, you know, the, the, the pigment can get a little gummy. Um, so whether you're using a flow improver or whether you're using a thinner, you got to really make sure because airbrushes are so fickle. Uh, you, you know, I, I can't tell you how much time I spend keeping my airbrushes super clean. And uh, now I'm even starting to do a little bit of uh, filtering of my, uh, of my paint, uh, literally decanting it uh, through, a, through a little paper filter. You know, you can get them at uh, Home Depot, Lowe's or whatever. Just little paper filters. Uh, push them through and, and, and make sure you've got no gum gumming up or gunk in there before you get in that brush because any kind of, any kind of material uh, or, or any kind of uh, thickening of your paint and that airbrush is going to gum up on you. But anyway, uh, progress, progress, progress. Let me show you what I'm doing. So uh, on the bench right now, um, I've got the bottom of the exterior and you can see I've got my red and my green uh, lights uh, in there and uh, they're really, I'm really happy with them. And um, this is part of the strand that I talked about uh, that comes from uh, Evan's lighting design. This is that pack you can get of, of blinkies. And so I've used two on each side of my, um, of my exterior shell. And uh, what you can see I've done in the back here is uh, I've attached them to the back of the, of the clear resin parts. Now these, these were already in, in red and green for me. And uh, what I've done is, is these are nano chips uh, in warm white. But as you can see, uh, they're, they're doing a really nice job. Um, now the camera, um, oh, there you go. Uh, the camera is uh, really picking this up. And, and so this is without uh, any kind of a board. Uh, and it's a really fun way uh, to get some light into these kits. Now I have light blocked the back of it, as you can see here. I'm pointing to that with my finger. And I attach these not with super glow, uh, not with um, uh, hot glow, uh, you know, a cool shot. But I used my Steino res. Now um, it's the you know it's the 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 this incredible um, uh, it's a sort of a, a dental resin really. I think this is what it was originally designed for. But now um, other sort of hobbyists and people have cottoned onto it, and it, and it is fantastic. Now it is this is not uh, this is not cheap. Um, but it comes uh, with your, um, um, 
I don't know how many ounces this is. I want to say um, maybe six ounces, maybe eight, but it comes with your uh, UV light flashlight. And uh, so uh, it's not cured until you uh, sh shoot it with your, uh, with your UV light. Uh, but once you shoot it, it te needs five seconds, 10 seconds, and it goes off. So uh, what I do is, is I put um, a, a little dab in one of these little plastic trays. You can see uh, it still has the consistency of, um, of, of a sort of a, of, a, of a thick, I would say a thick CA glow. And uh, it will stay in that, it will stay in that state until you zap it and it goes off. So I put a little dab of that on the back of my nano chips against uh, the help. I held them in, into the clear and they went off like, like champs and they're not going anywhere. And I've just attached uh, those to the, uh, the bottom here, as you can see of, of, the, of, the, of, the, uh, of the exterior of the travel pod. And I've got all these chips left over. Do you see? And so um, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put one, I think I'm going to put one, uh, where is it? Uh, well, this, this is the bottom. Here's the top. Hold on here. Let me go and get it. Uh, I'm going to put one in the top here, um, right here. Now in the film, curiously, uh, it does not blink. But, you know, why not? <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, it gives it more life and I don't know. It's my model, right? Uh, sometimes I, 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 it's so funny because I claim I'm not a canon guy where everything has to be exactly the way it should be. And yet sometimes it's fun to be canon, you know, I mean, it's a challenge. So, um, but anyway, um, so uh, I think I'll put one in there and then um, I will definitely, uh, most definitely put some in the computers in the back. Um, but uh, it, it's, it's really coming together. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Uh, let me get this, uh, let me show you this. See how it's coming together. Now I'm not pushing down on this obviously. So you got this whacking great gap between the, the two pieces. But I assure you that that seal is just beautiful. Uh, there's, there, there, there's, no, there's no seam to hide there. The paint blend will do that. So I, I, I'm just, I couldn't be happier with that. Couldn't be happier. So um, I've, I've got my, uh, um, well, I've had a coat of primer on this. Then I put a coat of the, of the warm white uh, from Chroma Air on, and then I put my uh, Tamiya Insignia on it, and I, I just love that color. I mean, it is it it, it is the go-to spaceship white for me. It's really a gray, but um, in the light, you know, it looks white. Um, and then obviously, I'm going to pick out these panels. Uh, I'll show you on top here. Uh, you see, I'm going to pick out all these panels in the various different uh, colors, uh, whites and grays, um, and I'll do that on on all the sides. Uh, just to sort of give that a nice blending and then uh, we'll pick out these um, these uh, fan blades I think they're vents so I, I, I I'm not sure what they are but they they look like they should be blade or uh, fans uh, and I'll pick those out with some washes and we'll, we'll run washes over all of it um, as you know from uh, the previous episode um, I, I sort of took you through the lighting plan and so we're putting that in action as we speak um, and so uh, to that end, uh, that takes care, I've taken care of the, um, uh, the navigation lights. So they're in, and I'm very happy with that. Um, I've got my um, red lights. Uh, these will be uh, just, just a, a regular light to, to hit behind them. Uh, but I've got my diffusion, um, uh, my diffusion clear plastic that comes with this kit. Uh, to go in behind these fan blades, but I wanted to show you uh, that I started to um, here. Let me uh, let me get you close up here. Uh, I've started uh, to to get my lights in. So these will take care of um, the fan blades and the side uh, the side uh, lights. And uh, these are the lights that uh, are, I'm I'm shooting through. 
my uh, and I can actually take this out now um, uh, I'm shooting that through to my um, you know into the cockpit now um, curiously um, curiously you'll never see that control surface so the million dollar question is do I put it in because I have it I have it right here here it is um, now it's on a piece of diffuse, diffused uh, clear that comes with the with the with the kit, and um, if I stick a light behind it, you can see um, it lights up quite well. Now, however, um, if I was to put this um, in here. sort of like such um, it's actually supposed to go underneath um, but um, if you were to put that in underneath which I certainly can do and uh, let me get some light on on the subject for you so we can we can see this see what I'm talking about here and da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Okay, there's my black and there is my red come on cooperate thank you okay so um, now I haven't put this in yet so so don't worry about the sauciness of it but the point is is when we get our, our um, when we get our men and we put our men into the uh, let me t turn this around to this camera for you uh, like like that oh Scotty's supposed to be on that side let me push them back into okay nothing wants to cooperate I apologize yeah let me get you here. Uh, now, here they are with their with their movie lights on them, and I think they look really nice, really nice. And so uh, I come along, and I put this in, and you can see it just completely disappears. It just kills the light, and uh, I don't get the effect that I need. So, um, given given the fact that uh, you cannot see that. Uh, I've taken the executive decision uh, to not install it. Uh, there's no need. And um, now I will be installing all the con control surfaces on the back of this, but I won't be installing that one because I like the sauciness of this light. Do you see? Um, if I can hold it up to camera for you like that. You see, it shines on their faces, and, and, and that is right out of the film. So um, I'm super happy with that, and that's the way I'm going to display this and, and uh, not worry about uh, that control surface because, uh, because I, don't think it, I, I, I just don't think it's worth it. So um, I've been getting some color on the inside of, of the uh, interior, and uh, I'm very happy with the way that's going. Um, I have my Marv purple <laughs> toned panels and um, <clears throat> I'm super happy with them. Uh, so um, <clears throat> as we, as you recall from last time, we talked about what that would look like. But um, when you sit them in, they give you this really sort of lush, I mean, it really looks plush. And I'm super happy with that. I could not be happier with that. So that's going to work a treat. Now, um, so I've got those ready to go. And um, my tub interior is ready to go. I've just got a little bit of wash I'm going to do on it. But for the most part, uh, what's interesting about this kit is uh, a, lo a lot of its gliss a, a sort of a lot of its showiness as I should say is its exterior and when you look through that glass 
you see your Kirk and you see uh, Scotty, uh, and then you're going to see obviously that wonderful glow from the control surface, which is that sort of studio lighting effect. And then in the back of it, I'm, uh, you're going to have a really nice saucy com uh, computers uh, blinking. So there's, there's a lot going on and a lot of texture and a lot of warmth to this. So I'm super happy with that. And uh, that, th that's going really well. And then uh, the only other thing is I've been working on the, oh, out of frame. I've been working on the, the rear of this thing of beauty. Uh, this is the locking ring. Uh, and I have used uh, a Vallejo rattle can color called green bronze. Now it's more of a gray than anything else, but it also in the light, depending on how you hit it, does appear to have a little bit of a green shimmer to it, but it's very gray and I'm really loving that. So I've got to put the locking hooks in and then I've got to dust the in inside of this with a, a, with a gray. And I think that will really, really look, really look good. And I've got my diffusion uh, uh, strip, which comes with the, the kit. And that sits, sits down in this, uh, this hole like this. I've sort of pre-tested this, but it does. It sits, it sits in this hole. I mean, let me get this out. I'm struggling here. Uh, forgive me. There we go. There we go. And um, it, it drops down behind and inside this, uh, this beautifully printed piece. And so uh, you get this really clean, very finished looking uh, piece. And um, I just couldn't be happier with that. So here's your step. And then the top of this, behind this, is going to be uh, a little um, LED uh, light to give you that source that you see in the film. Um, and that, 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 that's perfect. I mean, it, it's, it's finished. It's, it's a wonderful combination of, of paint and, uh, and other materials. You know, it's not always just to have a painted model. Sometimes other materials, brass rod, um, different types of uh, acrylic add-ons and cloth and things like that. They really make your, your model pop and, and give it some, some authenticity and some realism. So I could not be happier with this. Um, so you're going to be really hard pressed to find a, a, a kit better than the way Keith designs and produces his kits. And, 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 and yes, I'm shilling for cosmic models, even though I pay for my kits, guys. But anyway, I'm, 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 I'm so grateful he's out there. And um, anyway, uh, I, I, I wax poetic. So um, I'm getting color on everything. Uh, here's the rear of the, um, uh, of the cockpit. And uh, as you can see, that sits, that sits like that quite nicely. And that uh, I'm really happy with the way that came out. And I've been playing with different colors because, you know, when you watch the film, uh, you, 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 you're desperately trying to sort of f figure out, you know, what is what. And you have to remember that you've got a lot of studio lighting and gels and uh, uh, color correction. So getting... Uh, getting a, a color that's that that you're happy with is more important than trying to figure out what the exact color of something is, uh, because a you'll drive yourself crazy trying to do that, and b that's just not what it's about, and that's not what the filmmakers intended it to be about. So anyway, but wherever you sit on that, bless you, uh, everybody's welcome. <laughs> so. Um, Anyway, there it is. Um, I've got my benches. I've got to get some color on. Uh, I haven't done that yet, but um, everything is really sort of coming together. Now it's just about slowly and methodically uh, putting all my lighting in. Um, I can sit this in here for you quickly and um, see if I can't uh, 
to show you how those fins are going to light up. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Here they are. Got these, these two. Um, I'll put these together quickly. And I'll show you this. Um, and then we'll take it to the next step. Um, okay, so I just want to show you this because um, I'm really happy with the way these are all sort of coming together. Um, it's not a complicated lighting setup. Um, very easy for you to do yourself. You, you know, I did this. There's no kit involved here. Now, bear in mind, um, I don't have any diffusion. Well, let me see if I can get something behind there. That would be kind of fun. Is it this piece? Or is it, uh, which piece is it? I think it's this piece. Let me see if I can't uh, show you this with diffusion. Um, no, it's not going to, it's not going to, I don't think it's going to cooperate. And I apologize for that. But what I can do, uh, let's see here. No, I can't. Um, I wasn't prepared for it. And I apologize for that. So I hope, uh, let me not blast you out. But you can see here that um, the interior tub uh, lights are, 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 are just really working. I'm, I couldn't be happier with them. And if I stick um, if I stick some of this diffusion behind here, come on, get into camera. There you go. Uh, you can see that it's going to be beautiful. Um, and it really, it really cleans that up beautifully. And I've got, uh, fortunately, I have enough distance that this will be really soft. So uh, that, that's all sort of taken care of. And uh, so that'll all be diffused. I've got... Um, one, I've got like seven or eight more lights and my floodlights in the front, my candle lights, because curiously in the film, uh, you can see they are, they're almost like studio globe lights that stick straight up in those four uh, panels in the center. It's really curious why, why they chose to do it that way, but there you go. That's, that's how they chose to do it. Um, and I'm going to try and mimic that because why not? It's a, it, it, it's a lot of fun. Um, and then of course, uh, at some point, I have to paint these bad boys. Now, they've got a coat of the, um, of the white primer on it, um, Scotty and Kirk. And I've got a frame grab here. Uh, so I've got my uniform colors. So I'm, I, I'm going to be able to, to do that. Um, freaking out a little bit about the red that I've got to get behind uh, the gold um, emblem on Scotty's jacket. But the good news is, is uh, he's entirely gray <laughs> with white uh, or yeah, with, 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 with white stripes uh, for his uh, command um, uh, insignias on it on his cuffs. Uh, and Kirk, uh, also not super complicated. I've got his white tunic in the center there, his white cuffs. Uh, now what's curious is, is if you notice, uh, Kirk's cuffs have a thick white band and a thin white band. Um, and uh, unfortunately, uh, if you were trying to be canon, uh, your heart would be broken by the fact that Keith has given us three bands uh, and, and not the, uh, uh, the, the, the thick one and the thin one. Now, if you wanted to be, uh, if you wanted to geek out, and sometimes I feel like it, but not, not this trip around, you could definitely fill that in with a little epoxy sculpt and you would be perfect. Now, I, 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 I may do that. I may do that. Don't ask me why, but I'm, <laughs> I may do it. Uh, but anyway, so that's where we are. Um, and uh, come back in a little bit here, and uh, we'll, we'll take this to the next progression. Next time you see it, uh, all the lights should be in, and uh, we should be able to be getting ready to close this up and start thinking about... Uh, the finishing our exterior in decals. So uh, away we go. So uh, I get carried away and I'm working and I'm focused and I forget. 
that that I'm supposed to do an update. So uh, I, I, I'm sort of moving along here. Boy, we're just we're just plow, plowing along, plowing along, plowing along. And uh, it's it's really it's really been um, quite uh, quite interesting, actually. Let, let me tell you, uh, g give you some sort of some some observations and some thoughts about this, because what's brilliant about it is, you know, when you go to light something like this and you 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 go to sort of paint something like this, you really get caught uh, caught up in in the fact that. This model goes together so beautifully that you genuinely forget about, you know, process. And sometimes I have to stop and think about process. Now, um, the exterior tub is uh, on the stand, uh, you know, just for a few minutes here because I wanted to show you a couple of things. Um, if I can gingerly uh, tip this on its side, um, I can I can show you. So um, as you can see here all the way around is uh, where you're supposed to diffuse the the windows. Now, I'll try and get a little closer for you here. Hey, look at that. Uh, so as you can see, I have added additional diffusion material to what Keith supplies. Now, um, that is not to say that if you chose a different way to light this than I did, you would get a, a different result. But what I found was, was that when I was putting my lights into the tub here, uh, these lights here, and I'll get you close here uh, so you can see this. Actually, let me do this because uh, that's too close. There we go. So you can see I've put my, uh, my um, single density they're not double density. I have used some doubles and I'll show you where, but single density around here because I was really concerned about blowing, blowing this whole thing out. Now, um, what happens, what happens is, which is quite typical, is you, the diffusion material is not far enough back from the lights. There's plenty of room here. He's done a beautiful job at giving you plenty of space to wire this and make any uh, adjustments you, you need to, to sort of get it all dialed in. But uh, the throw for me was not far enough. And, um, I, you know, I tried s some other things. Uh, I, I hit it with a little more white, uh, opaque white, and uh, that didn't do the trick. And I even tried some, um, you know, some teddy bear fill, you know, the, the, the sort of the, the, the cottony st substance to put in here to see if that would break up the light and it, it, it can't. So what I did was, is I went to my old standby and it is this. And um, here it is. It's, uh, it's evergreen plastic sheeting, uh, but it is super thin super thin it's um i i can't even tell you how thin it is it, it it's it's micro thin it's point something of a millimeter anyway it's it's very flexible and very thin and it's a great go-to for diffusion and it's uh so i've added this on top of the uh supplied diffusion material and um the result is terrific now, um, I'm not ready to light this up for you yet, um, but uh, I am definitely sort of progressing nicely. Uh, all of the uh, diffusion lights for the bars are in. Uh, the red lights are in um, on the sides here for there, and I'll, I'll show you this on this camera. Um, let me turn this around for you the red light is in for the red uh, acrylic panel in the back here. You can see all this diffusion material um, has done a really nice job. Um, and I've even added my uh, floodlights on the inside. That's these four five millimeter uh, white uh, LEDs. And the net result is, is you get this, this, this lovely punch uh, from from the front of the ship here, 
um, and, and just as as you see it in the film. So that I'm very happy with. Um, so everything is, is is sort of going well. Let me take this off the base for you for a second. <laughs> Can I tell you? I, I I'm in love with this base. I'm in love with it. I I just think it's it's going to be such a beautiful, clean way to uh, to display this model. Anyway, let me stick that aside for a second because um, I've uh, the painting has been going quite well. Um, so I have been adding all of my various different colors, uh, and um, I've hit it with a uh, a coat of of, of clear. Uh, because I'm now getting ready to uh, do some uh, some of my uh, well, I am going to do my decals next, um, and then um, so that's the bottom of it, and the top of it is over here. Here's the top of it, and um, actually, uh, yeah, you can see I've got my my yellow callouts on the side here, uh, looking uh, quite canary yellow in this hot light. <laughs> And I've, I've been doing my, my punt panel dusting. Now, curiously, um, this one here is a little heavy, so I'll tone, tone that down a little bit. But, um, but uh, curiously, you know, when you look at the film, um, it, it's really hard to, really hard to tell uh, what panels are or what shades. But I've had um, quite a bit of success using my my famous uh, 3M post-it pad technique, which is, you know, great for creating clean um, masked off areas just to sort of dust with uh, whatever color you're using. And the net result is here, and I'll show you this on, on close-up because it's quite good. Uh, the net result is you get this, this, this lovely uh, layering effect. So I've got rust in here, I've got a lighter white here, and I've got some gray. And um, it, it really does a, a really nice job at uh, catching some of the lines and creating panels for you. So um, what, I've, uh, what I've got to do now is I've got to continue painting uh, my figures, uh, Kirk and Scott. Um, they're, they're sitting over here drying. Um, you know, it's their, their sort of their gray, gray and white uniforms and then touch them up with gray uh, with the gold for their uh, insignias. And, and then um, uh, pray that I can get a face that looks halfway decent because this is my weakest part of, my, uh, w of, of, of the hobby for me. And I, I'm really trying very hard to up my game. I've got a couple of things that are um, a couple of techniques that I've learned that I'll share with you when we, we, we when we pull out the figures and and get ready to place them because what I'll need to do is once the figures are finished um, I need to sit them in the tub here um, and uh, you know line them up quite quite uh, you know line them up exactly where they need to be uh, the tub the interior of this tub is is finished and I'm very happy with it. I'm uh, reaching as we speak for the rear doors. They go in like this and that looks like that. Um, so I'm super, super happy with that, how that came together. Um, I've got my decals in here on the sides. Um, these top ones will just be lit and the bottom ones I'm going to put some blinkies on so we get a little bit of movement from the back of, 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 the, of the tub. And then uh, the top of this tub, um, I have added the, the baffling to the sides and I've added my um, double density uh, strip lights to the exterior. Now what I've done is um, I have placed them below the area that I wanted to light. Here's the diffused area that I wanted to light. And what I've done is, is I've added my duct tape, my metal tape to the sides here. And, and what happens is, is when this sits in the tub, like such, the light bounces off the back and beautifully warms these up and they, they light really well. Um, so there's a lovely warm glow to those. So I am, um, I just, I couldn't, couldn't be happier with that. 
um, everything is basically together now. Um, so my interior tub uh, will, you know, will almost be close to, to closing as soon as I can and get Kirk and Scott painted and, and ready to seat. Uh, you know, I've, I've been such a good boy with these pins. <laughs> I haven't broken one yet, and I don't intend to now. But, uh, you know, every time you, you push this down, you do run the risk of doing that. Um, and that's, you know, Clever Phil will, 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 will sort of always do that if he just um, like that. So um, anyway, uh, I don't want to push too hard here because I've got a little bit of just paint to clean up here. But, but boy, this just goes together beautifully. It really does. Um, you know... Um, it's just, it's just really clean and um, just a well-designed model. Uh, I, I have nothing but good things to say about it, and it's so much fun to build. Uh, the only other thing I did, and it's over here, is I finished the ring, uh, which is the, 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 the locking ring here, and um, I've got my, my light uh, which is just a piece of strip that I've, I've, I've stuck in the, um, I've stuck in the back of this here, uh, as you can see there. So I've just got a, I was just test fitting everything and it, it works really nicely. So, uh, this is really clean and I'm super happy with it. My locking nuts are in as well. And I, uh, you know, I've given it that gray tone. Um, so all I've got to do now is just uh, glue all of this into place, uh, my light and my diffusion ring. And boy, I'll tell you, it's just beautiful. It's just clean uh, and just, it feels real. Uh, there's no other way to describe it. So we are getting dangerously close here uh, to being able to uh, lock this up uh, and, and, uh, and, dis and, and give you sort of a final reveal of, of my 120, uh, scale travel pod from cosmic scale models. Um, so, uh, one other thing I wanted to share with you, uh, before we, uh, carry on, which is, um, you know how I talked to you about this Evans lighting, uh, grouping. Well, um, I put my nav lights in and uh, I, sh you know, I've showed you how I did that and, and now I'm ready to put my computer lights in and I think I will um, add one flasher to the top here. I've bloomed a little bit of fiber optic and put it in uh, the top here. You can see that uh, right there and I will attach my um, little flasher to there just to give me a little bit of uh, movement on the top there. Um, and I, I did add lights to the top uh, corner, uh, you know, the sort of navigation system, I'm calling it. Um, so I've got, um, uh, I've got to now uh, get, uh, I've got to get Kirk and Scott painted. I've got to get my window in, um, window into the, uh, the cockpit here. Uh, that will attach to the back, but I'm loath to, to do that until I absolutely have to because uh, classic um, Phil Siegel, I uh, will scratch it if I can. <laughs> so I'm trying not to, and I'll even handle it with gloves. I'll, I'll put some gloves on so I don't get um, fingerprints on it, and we'll, we'll try to get that crystal clear because it's a beautiful, you know, it's your optics into, in, into the interior here where everything is going on. So, um, there we go. Uh, decals will go on next, uh, and then uh, washes, and then a, a, a final reveal. So, um, yeah, let's uh, plow on. <laughs> and here she is, the finished 120th scale travel pod from Cosmic Models. This is from the Star Trek The Motion Picture, 1978. And what fun this was to build. And uh, I, I, you know, I was sort of going to do a little bit of decal work uh, before we close up, but I realized, you know, time was getting away from me and you don't need to see me put decals on this beautiful kit. However, I do want to say a little something about decals. Uh, if you are not used to uh, 
what I call small batch kits or aftermarket kits. They come most of the time with decals on decal sheets that are not pre-cut. So the contact film and the actual decals themselves are all one sheet and you've got to cut them off individually. And that is a little bit of a challenge if you've never done it before. And you've got to realize that it's, it's probably, you know, uh, the, the most uh, economical way to get us great looking decals. And these are great decals. Keith's done a great job with it. But what I want to remind you is, is that you've got to do some pre-planning and really think about your decals because your contact film is also your saving grace when it comes to some of the smaller, more intricate uh, decals. Uh, like the circles on this, you know, the, the, the circles on this um, are one complete sheet. And I found myself having to make my decals two pieces. It may be easier for you to think about that um, as you go along and you plan. And also determine how much carrier film you want left on the sides of your decal. Do you want an art? Do you want none at all? Now it's going to depend on where you're putting it on your model. If it's in a very tiny area with a lot of compound curves, most likely you want less film. However, if you've got long undulating areas or you've got uh, one large decal that you want to try and lay down, uh, you're very brave and you're going to need a little more carrier film. Um, so just keep that in mind when you, uh, when you, when you go to, to, to put your decals down. Now, I will tell you this, is that my go-to for, for, the, for these decals is the Walther's Solver Set. Because what I have found is, is that for whatever reason, the Walfers does a better job than the uh, micro, uh, <coughs> the micro scales. Now, I don't know why that is, but it is with these particular uh, decals. I don't know if it's what they're printed on, if it's the carrier film themselves, uh, how they, you know, they've obviously got a. a um, a clear coat over them of some kind, but the Walthers reacts with them really well and sits them down and calms them down. I found that the Microsol wasn't strong enough for these decals. Now, you, you've got to remember that in some cases, decals can be incredibly delicate, and in which case the Walthers can burn them up and, and blow them up, and the Sol is probably better for you. So you're going to have to do your own experimentation, I would say. But keep that in mind when you go to, uh, to tackle the, the, the decals on, on, this, on this particular kit, and any kit, by the way. Um, so that's enough said about that. But it, it, it's, it, it's a beautiful kit, um, and it, it just goes together really well. Now, there are some other versions of this on the, uh, on the market. Uh, there's, res there, there's a resin garage kit version. Um, and I've seen smaller solid versions in the past, but I have to tell you, you know, the reality of it is um, this particular 3D print model is just an absolute gem to build. I, I had a blast doing it. And one of the things you really appreciate is, is that uh, Keith has gone out of his way to also think about the engineering of it. So plenty of room for your wiring, plenty of room for you to, to do the kinds of things you want to do to either augment or upgrade the kit. Um, and it all goes together very simply, uh, but it makes your life a lot easier because when it comes to putting this together, uh, you're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Now, I, I, I will mention, though, that sometimes with 3D printed kits, and I've noticed this, I would, have, I, I would appreciate... Um, uh, so Keith, take note here. <laughs> uh, I, I would appreciate that, you know, some kind of a lip on seams. So when possible to give yourself that little skirt so that that seam can disappear. Because sometimes it's really difficult to, uh, to get that perfect seam. Uh, or you've got two panels that have to sit together. And even though they, they sit flush, you're going to have that hard line. Now, you sometimes can get away with getting, a, getting rid of it uh, with um, things like Mr. Surfacer and uh, some, some really good quality paint, and it, it will fill in that and blend that in nicely. Uh, but sometimes you can have uh, some problems with it. 
but for the most part, this goes together really well. Um, this stand um, that uh, you can't see there, <laughs> there you go. Uh, this stand that also comes uh, as a separate item from cosmic scale models um, is an absolute gem. It comes with your power plug and a switch. Now, what I did was I upgraded my switch. Um, as you can see here, I've put in a larger switch because I just, I liked the look of it. I thought it was a little beefier and uh, just fit well. So all I needed to do was just take um, one of my, um, you know, my, my alls. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what, what I'm talking about here. Um, it's, it's really uh, a reamer. And uh, you got to have one of these in your kit. If you don't, you should, because uh, they're really helpful and they keep nice and clean lines. And it was really easy for me uh, to go ahead and just get that hole a little wider to accept the, um, uh, the, lar the larger switch. Uh, but I just think it's a little cleaner. It's a lot of fun. But the switch that comes with the kit is, is definitely very nice. Uh, as I said, you could, if you wanted to, uh, light this. Um, and uh, you can have a lot of fun with doing that. But I don't see any reason to. Uh, it's a beautiful stand. Um, and it complements this model uh, really, really, really well. So uh, I am I'm, I'm super happy with this model. Um, and, I, and I had a lot of fun building it. Um, so anyway, uh, what I'll probably, what I'm going to do now is, um, uh, let me, um, well, let me see if I can do this. Uh, let's, let's turn the, 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 the lights on. Um, so, um, yeah, let, let's get those lights on. Now, as you can see, um, it's all going to come to life here. But I think what I'm actually going to do is, um, is I'm actually going to uh, dip to black here. Um, and, and so you can see it in, in all of its glory. Uh, we'll give it a little spin and then uh, we'll sign off. Okay. So as always, guys, please, if you like the, the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. It means an awful lot to me. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, and as always, I wish all of you be well, be safe, build something, guys, and we'll see you next time. Uh, so stick around quickly for a dip to black, and uh, we'll show you this beautiful um, travel pod uh, with, um, you know, with, with its lights on in, in a more uh, uh, conducive environment. <laughs> Take care, everybody.